Hello, my name is Ann Watson Sorensen, and I'm a painter, uh, eternal student, and business owner. Welcome to my art show, featured art show here at Art Source Gallery. The theme of the show is Reflections of the Lost and Found. Reflections of the Lost and Found talks about the process by which I paint. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I'd like to share with you what brought me to become a painter. I've been a painter for about 25 years. It began when I lived in Barcelona, Spain, and I was surrounded by original artwork. At that point in time, I did not realize that art, I thought they were just paintings and things hanging around, but instead they were things that captured my soul and made each day more alive. I, then it became a pursuit of how could I recreate that or could I communicate with such feeling and depth and have that enter the home of my home and the homes of others? That has been my journey over these many years. The process by which I paint is I begin with an idea for the painting's desired end feeling. Oftentimes, that has an emotional response. As the painting evolves, I must be willing to lose possible good things in order to find and discover deeper, richer ways. The viewer will see this evolution reflected in the variety of subject matter, and I hope it resonates with you. You'll see quite a variety of work and styles and processes in my artwork, I consider, I really challenge myself to become multilingual in visual languages, particularly with this medium, watercolor, also known as one of the most difficult mediums. This painting, Living Waters, is number four in this series. I love painting water because of the movement and what it represents. Uh, that spiritual lifeblood, or that force within each of us, it's incredible power but it's gentle necessity on a daily basis so i love the movement that can be created here and process on this one in order to get that uh, that flowing motion feeling was to paint it on a slick paper actually a plastic paper and my process on that is moving it and turning it constantly through that process to get it the movement and flow one of the reasons uh, I've drawn, I've uh, painted a lot of landscapes is partly because my very first teacher was a master of painting the landscape. It wasn't my first interest, but I always feel like you can learn so much from a master. And so he got me into landscapes, and then I began to see and feel the landscape in new ways, and loving Idaho and its variety of landscapes. Uh, drew me to painting them and trying to evoke a special uh, tender emotion in them. Um, so I've got the Rainbow Bridge here, a, a favorite, as well as um, the Shoshone Falls and, uh, and rural Idaho, beautiful places. This, pa this painting, Troubled Waters, was actually a series of um, healing for me at a very hard time in my life. And so art had a great way of being able to let me put out uh, and explore all of those emotions. And this was the very first in the series called Troubled Waters. Hey, let's go over to a little more fun place. And that, be, that brings you to my Funky Town series, um, which are all depictions, these are depictions of Boise, Idaho. I used to paint a lot of the cityscape, love city skylines, came from a big city, loved the big city, and then I started thinking, oh, how could I break that up and make it a little bit different? And I started uh, making them a little more funky, and after the first one came off, the, off my uh, canvas, uh, someone loved them and said, paint more, please paint more, and commissioned me to do more, and then the series began, and this is, uh, this is actually number six in that series, uh, which city of Boise decided to blow up and use as its backdrop for the city council chambers. I didn't know that Boise City was so fun-loving, uh, the city council anyways, would be so fun-loving and forward-thinking and, and kudos to them. Anyways, that's been a really a joy to you know, show how much vibrancy Boise has and all of the fun things that are here. And this was Funky Town number nine, which was done after I didn't done this piece, which was called New Jerusalem. 
and kind of a cubistic feel, exploring again shape and design. And then I thought, hey, how about if I take all of these, uh, a menagerie of all of these shapes and things like that and pull, try to pull them together into Funky Town number nine. Thank you very much for coming and uh, learning a little bit about um, Ann Watson Sorensen and my art. And I hope that my art might be able to touch you and bring a, um, a special feeling into your home that whenever you pass by my art, it brings and swells within you a greater love for living.